What's going on, my good people? Canelo Alvarez. Triple G. My, oh, my. How the flagship has started to sway. Before I get started, for those of you who have never seen my show, my name is Eric A. Bradley, a.k.a. The Real Fight Doctor. And there is no other on this level. Now, to the topic at hand. Oscar De La Hoya, Canelo Alvarez, Triple G. But many fighters don't have the resources that major right. American athletes have to have an investigator check where their meat is coming right. from. The point is, if his clenbuterol levels are through the roof, mm -hmm. and we hear, look, there's no way this is coming from meat, that's one thing. But if it's a trace amount of something that helps you burn fat, and, and, look, and he's in Mexico, and we know the meat's contaminated. So you guys you know, believe it. You know what I noticed about this event that's coming up? There are a lot of different ebbs and flows that's starting to happen with this one that didn't happen in the last one. And one of the things that I attest this to is the simple fact that now there's a that there's a benchmark this time that guys like Oscar De La Hoya want to supersede. And what is that benchmark? That benchmark is the one that Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather left behind. The fact that in Floyd's event, they didn't have a sellout, but the monetization of that event superseded Canelo Triple G double. Oscar De La Hoya can't sleep with that. Surrounding this fight, there are allegations of steroid use. Not steroid use, um, let's just say heightened test levels. All of a sudden, it's so important that Canelo Alvarez's clombuterol levels are through the roof. Now let's just be clear. This is something that has nothing to do with performance enhancement. But, of course, it's going to go that route. But Oscar De La Hoya was the guy that gave this to the press. What does that do, people? Well, it creates buzz. It creates conversation. I checked the ticket prices. My team and I just left the Deontay Wilder fight up in New York at uh, the Barclays Center over the weekend. We're preparing to go to the next event. Um, there's a fan expo that we're going to take part in. Alfonso puts this thing on every year. I think it's in his third or, third or fourth year now. All of the big fighters, all the celebrities, it's just a star-studded event, and it will be out there in May. So if you haven't booked yourself to be there, be there. That's where you want to get all your autographs, be able to meet and greet all the fighters. But with that being said, um, we were looking at the hotels and the you know prices and everything to choose. It's mighty funny this time. All of the ticket prices, even the nosebleeds are like at a, starting at $1,000, $990, let me retract that. Why? Because of the Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor success. Oscar De La Hoya knows this fight right here is his cash cow, and he's gonna maximize it. These conversations, uh, the, these, these allegations, and they're probably true, but there was no purpose behind it. This is a weight loss situation. This isn't something to boost you up. Now, if you look between the smoke and mirrors and the big fat pink elephant in the room, this is a money grab <laughs> and very well so. You have to understand the sport. Behind the scenes is one of the things that I wanted to give people insight of what's going on and what happens in the sport of boxing. I only come on from time to time now with this version of my show, but one thing I do breathe, and that's the honest truth, and that's boxing Bible. But when it's all said and done, this thing right here is a money grab, and Oscar De La Hoya is wise to do it, because the more people are talking about this, if it's making first take this early in the promotion, it's by the time that this fight happens, people will be clamoring to get these tickets. But when it's all said and done, what we want to see is that super fight with Max Kellerman saying that he's already done the face-off. 
and the face off is where they match the fighters face to face and they bullet them with questions and see where they coming from this time and I think where they coming from this time is straight from the belly with that being said I know it's gonna be a hell of a fight it doesn't need any promoting it's going to be that cash cow but in order for it to make those numbers that supersede really mainstream numbers you have to create conversation this is the part of the event that that will happen in these type things make real news these type things make front page and that's what Oscar De La Hoya knows man and it's gonna be a great fight we already know the fight's gonna be great I'm gonna do a style matchup and a fight breakdown I write I do it because I love it and I do it because I know the sport and when it comes down to it when it comes down to fist to cuffs hey I'm about that life so um, for all of you guys who think this is more than just buzz to be tossed out there the fact that it's golden boy to put the news out there drop your comments down in the feed down there and let's see what you think Canelo is he juicing up is it necessary for him to juice up dudes already big triple G did he win that last fight do you think he's gonna win this fight do you think he can show Canelo anything different that's what we want to know from you fans out here. Let's take a little listen to what Max and them guys have to say. This dude was a teenager fighting grown men in That's Mexico right. packing the house. That's he right. comes to the States. He's the money guy. He doesn't have to avoid He doesn't have to take all the toughest fights. He, he takes fights against guys like Austin He's Travis, Eric Landy, Larry. These are tough guys. He fights it. Triple G and then agrees to VADA testing, which catches cheaters. Yeah. And now his name is being dragged through the mud, even though there is plausible denial. Well, 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 you can't call it accountable. being dragged through the mud all you want to. Ain't no mud this way. I love Canelo. Right. He all right with me. Let me test that. You want the fight to go on. In addition and separate from that, do you believe there was wrongdoing here no. based on the evidence? No. Neither do I. No. Neither He's a warrior. I. Right. Well, I'm sold in with what they saying. I'm riding. I don't need to know that these guys are doing anything but fighting on Cinco de Mayo, and we will be in the building covering it live. So, with that being said... Thank you guys for taking the time out to check out the fight show. And uh, leave your comments down below. This is where we break the fight world down, baby. Round by round. Peace.